Hi guys, welcome ulit sa YouTube channel ko. So yun guys, so ang ang i-discuss natin ngayon is yung distance between two parallel lines. So from our previous tutorial, i-discuss natin yung distance between point and a line. So this time, i-discuss natin yung distance between two parallel lines. Basta yung parallel lines natin hindi coinciding ha? kasi kung coinciding siya, automatic wala nang distance yun. Ano ba ibig sabihin ng coinciding Sir IJ? So that is isang line lang siya. So before tayo mag-proceed, so shout out muna kay Brian Rivera. Hi Lodi. So thank you so much for subscribing to my channel. Marami ka pa matutunan for sure. And yun, proceed tayo. So distance between two parallel lines. So let's say we have a parallel two parallel lines. We have 3x minus 4y equals 12 and 3x minus 4y equals 27. <clears throat> Ang hinahanap, ano daw yung distance between two lines na yan? So, kapag nakakita kayo ng tanong na distance between the two lines, automatic, most likely, mga lodi, parallel lang. Kasi kung yung dalawang lines is intersecting, then it means na wala silang distance kasi they, kasi they intersect at a certain point. Okay? So, ano ang mangyayari dyan? Ano ba yung formula, Sir IJ? Sir IJ, paano mo nalaman na parallel yan? So, paano nalaman na parallel yan? Kasi tingnan yung mga lodi, magkamukha yung nasa left side natin. So, 3, 3, negative 4, 4, negative 4, negative 4, di ba? So, magkamukha siya. At the same time, ano ba ibig sabihin ng parallel lines? So, parallel lines are lines that have equal slopes, di ba? So, equal yung slope nila. So, ano ba gagawin natin? So, tandaan natin na ang distance between two parallel lines, that is the absolute value of C2 minus C1 all over square root of A squared plus B squared. So, baka naisip nyo yung C1 sa Jollibee, guys. So, makinig muna kayo bago kayo kumain, ha? Okay? So, yung C2 natin, ito yung constant natin. Kahit ano, pumili lang kayo. Pero guys, makinig maigi. Yung constant 2 natin, tsaka constant 1 natin, mga lodi, dapat pareha sila ng form. Hindi naman necessary na general, pero dapat kung naka-general form yung isa, naka-general form din yung isa. Kung naka-standard form yung isang equation natin, naka-standard form equation din yung isa natin. So, ito, kunyari, ito yung kinukuha natin. So, ang goal natin, ang first step, dapat magkamuka. Okay, magkamuka na yung left. 3, negative 4, 3, negative 4. Tapos, parehas sila naka-standard form. Standard, standard. So, okay na yan. Dapat magkamuka, parehas ng forma. So, gamitin natin, ano C2 natin? Kahit ano dyan, absolute value din naman yan eh. 27 minus 12 all over square root of, ano yung A natin? 3, parehas naman ah. Plus, negative 4 quantity squared. Absolute value. 27 minus 12, 5. 3-4, di ba? Ito tag Pythagorean triple yan. Ay, sorry. 27 minus 12, that's 15, mga Lodi. So, 3-4, that is a Pythagorean triple. So, that is equal to 5, di ba? 9, 16, 25 square root. Therefore, the distance between the two parallel lines given is 3 units. Okay? Next, ano kaya, bigay pa tayo na isa pang example, mga Lodi, para mas maintindihan natin. So, let's say, ito yung lines natin. Tandaan nyo ha, absolute value, take down notes ng mga Lodi. So at least marami tayong formula na nakukuha. So ayan, so yung pangalawa nating example, let's say we have the equation. Mm, uh, ano ba equation natin? So let's say we have 2x minus 3y equals 12. And 4x minus 6y equals, uh, let's say, 42. Masyadong malaki. Pero okay lang sa iyo mga lodi. So, Sir IJ, hindi naman siya magkamuka. Pero guys, kung iisipin natin, magkamuka yan. Bakit? Tingnan mo yung coefficient. 4 negative 6. Di ba pag dinivide mo ng 2 yan, magiging 2 negative 3? Ayaw nga, Sir IJ. No, tama. So, anong gagawin natin? Di ba ang sinabi ko, dapat parehas mo nang ng coefficient yung nasa kaliwa. So, since hindi sila magkaparehas, so it's either you multiply the first equation by 2 or you divide the second equation by 2 which makes it magkamuka, magkaparehas ng coefficients. So, kung ako gagawin ko, i-divide ko ito ng ito, mga Lodi. So, ano nalalabas? 2x minus 3y equals 21. So, ito na yung panibago natin. Equation 1, equation 2. Ayan, si Raji, wala na tayong problema. Rekta na sa formula kasi. Magkamuka na sila. Tapos, naka-standard yung isa, naka-standard yung isa. Hindi pwedeng general form yung isa, standard form yung isa. Magkakamali kayo nun, mga Lodi. Dapat parehas. Okay? So, we have distance equals absolute value of Sir IJ ng C2 minus C1 over square root of A squared plus B squared. So, ano yung C2 natin? Pili ka na lang. 21 minus 12 all over square root of ano yung A mga Lodi? 2 squared plus negative 3 squared. 
21 minus 12, that is 9. 4 plus 9, that is 13. So, that is square root of 13. So, kailangan kasi mas, mag, mas okay na nakarationalize yung denominator natin. So, that is equal to 9 square root of 13 over 13. Lagyan nyo na lang ng units. Hindi na kasi kasya, pero dapat lagyan nyo ng units kasi we're dealing with distance. So, yun mga Lodi. Just in case may questions or concerns, don't forget to uh, comment on the comment section below. So, yun. Thank you so much. Sobra sa support, sa pag-subscribe, sa, pag sa panonood ng videos ko. Salamat and God bless us all.